Hey everybody, Greg here, back with Fish at Middle Tennessee. It's been a minute since I did a video, um, and I got a request on a perch pattern on a shallow running crankbait. So uh, I'm going to do one for a guy on here, and I'm going to do a video about it so you guys can see how I do it. Uh, this is the Super Shad, I think, from LureBuild.com. Um, it's got that L-shaped bill on it, so it's like a shallow running crankbait. It's got a lot of darting action to it. Um, so it should be a good one for this guy. I think he's up north, so it's going to be mainly for like probably pike, uh, pike fishing, stuff like that. Maybe some walleye or something. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to coat it in opaque white for the base coat. Uh, then we're going to go hit it with a little bit of the transparent uh, bright yellow. Um, just a little bit of highlighting on the body there before we go to the transparent leaf green. A little bit brighter green there. And then we'll do um, the next color we'll do over that is a detailed moss green. Uh, and then as far as the <laughs> perch patterns, like the side strips on a perch pattern, it's just opaque black. And then for the fins and the belly, we'll do a little bit of the transparent orange. Uh, so let me get it coated in white and then we'll get back to it and get it started. All right, so we got the whole thing base coated in white. I got it heat set. We're gonna go ahead and move to the transparent bright yellow here. And we're just going to do a little bit, not the belly, just a little bit along the body line and maybe the gill plate there just to highlight a little bit of yellow through there. And once we go back with the green, you'll see a little bit of yellow through it. Turn my pressure down. Got about 20 PSI right now. I'll just spray this on. So we're just going to do light, a little bit light, start at the gill plate there, right down the body line. Nothing crazy. Right up the back. Just like that. Do the other side here. I'm angling the airbrush down the body a little bit just so the overspray goes down the body kind of towards the belly because we're not spraying the belly but a little bit of yellow down there should be all right heat set that and then we'll lay a um, a scale pattern material over the top before we do the green so let me get that heat set clean out the gun and we'll go to green all right here's the scale pattern material we're going to use uh, it's a medium scale pattern so I'm going to lay this on there and clip it on and get Get it ready to spray the green. Sometimes this is the hardest part, just getting these things tight all the way around here. You do quite a few clips sometimes just to hold it on there. Depends on the body shape of the blank too. I think this one's got a really small tail there and then it kind of fattens out on the body there. All right, now we're gonna go with the Transparent leaf green here. Get that loaded up in the gun. Alright, I'm 
gonna spray this on about 15 PSI because what I wanna do is I'm gonna spray at an angle this way, just kinda over spray a little bit just to get a three dimensional almost type scale pattern. So I'm gonna literally spray it at an angle like this really lightly. see a whole lot of it right away we're gonna do a couple of different coats just like that like I said it's not gonna you're not it's not gonna pop out at you right away but once I do a couple coats on here and then take this netting off you'll be able to see it a lot better so we're literally just barely spraying it out. Almost like an overspray. The same angle as the fish's body. Alright, let me get a couple more drops in here. Hit the other side one more time. And then all right, next one is Detail Moss Green, the Wicked Colors. Again, I want my PSI around 15. 10 to 15 because I'm I don't want to heavy spray this. I'm just lightly spraying it again. Same thing. Right down the body line. Same angle as the blank. This one I'm going to try to keep up towards the shoulders. Almost on the back. up just a little bit because there we go I didn't want to come out of there for a second side's a little darker than this side, so let me get back on this side here. It's okay if it's a little blotchy in spots, it's fine because it's a fish, like they're not going to be perfect. I'm going to spray this directly at it, right down the back. Let me turn it up just a little bit. heat set that and then we'll peel that off and look at it. I'm going to keep that green in there in case I need it. And that layering of those colors should give it a really cool looking scale pattern. Let's 
fit right there. So you could even, if you wanted to, you could put black in and, and almost spray directly at it just to hit those edges and darken the edges up a little more and give it a little more depth. So I'm gonna spray the back side of this with that green we got in here, the detail moss green. Played a little bit in the eyes. Like that. Throw a little heat set on it, and then we'll go, we'll get our stencil for the the side slashes and the um, and then the stencil for the fins and we'll do those next. All right, so I couldn't find my old stencil I used for the side patterns on these, so I just already made one. All right, I got my black loaded up. I'm gonna line this up where I want it. Let's see, one, two, three. Four. I think I'm going to do four on the side here. Let's go right under the body line with that V shape. one down a little bit. There we go. Alright, there's that side. Let's flip it around and do this side. Make sure we line them up where they're supposed to be with the other side. So now I'm just going to go down the back a little bit with my black. See, I got them lined up pretty good there. Alright, put on the eyes a little bit. afraid I'm going too dark on stuff. I, I, want, I want to go down the shoulders a little bit more, but I have to tell myself it doesn't need to be that dark. So I think I'm good with it right there. Let me get the black cleared out and then we'll put the orange in for the fins and the belly. And we're almost done. All right, so we got the orange loaded up. I'm gonna do two fins on here so I'm gonna let's see that one's almost too big I think just do two of the smaller ones so I'm gonna line it up right here uh -huh. 
We're gonna do a light spray on it because I don't want it to be too heavy. Just like that. So I don't want it to be just a big orange blotch. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And we'll do one other one right here. I think, let's see. You know what? Uh, I think we're just gonna leave it at one. It, the, the tail is too thin to try to do a small section right there. So we'll just leave it at one on that side and then we'll flip it around and do the other side. Make sure we're going to make them look the same here. Get it as close as possible to the other side. Let's point it down a little bit. Right there. There we go, just like that. there all right now while I got the orange in here I'm gonna hit the tail and the throat a little bit <clears throat> I'll start on the throat here. Our perch pattern. We'll get some eyes set in. I like you can using gold eyes on these perch patterns. I think the perch have a gold color eye. So let me get the eyes picked out. We got these eyes here picked out. That's holographic gold color there. So as always, we're gonna move this. A little bit of super glue right there where the eye is going to go. There it is. Other side. Take it out of here. Show y'all a little better. Getting the tape off is always fun. There's that bill I was talking about on this super shed. It's like an L-shaped bill, so it doesn't dive like a normal crankbait would because this is so flat. 
and then this little L-shaped lip here. It's got a good side-to-side -side action, but it also kind of darts around, and the fish love that. So, anyway, here's the perch pattern. Hope you guys like it. Um, like I said, I painted it up for a customer that wanted me to do a perch pattern in a shallow running crankbait. Um, so I just did one because he wanted to see what it was going to look like. So hopefully he likes it and hopefully he buys a few of them. Appreciate you guys watching again. I hope I helped somebody out on some kind of pattern or, or the way to do things. Um, that's what I try to do when I do these videos. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. Give me a like. Shoot me some comments if you like this pattern um, or if you think there's something else I could do differently or if there's something you want to know about. Just uh, comment down below on it and let me know and I'll try to get back with you. So again, thanks guys.